So in the event of an apocalyptic situation, will the Walmart in-house brand George stack up against the Huckberry in-house brand Flint and Tinder? So yes, you heard me right. The Walmart in-house brand George uh, basically directly ripped off the Flint and Tinder flannel lined wax trucker jacket. So we all know that the uh, Flint and Tinder jacket can withstand the apocalypse as we've seen Pedro Pascal run from many a post-apocalyptic creature and survive. But can this Walmart George jacket that has been worn one time and is already completely faded survive. Why don't we start by doing a one-to-one -one comparison. Aesthetically, the jackets do look very similar. They both have a type one boxy cut trucker jacket look with a single pocket on the left breast. Although Walmart does say that this is machine washable and you do not machine wash wax canvas. The shell of the George is 67% cotton and 33% polyester. Where the Flint and Tinder is 100% cotton, the George is made in Bangladesh, where the Flint and Tinder is fully made in America, both materials made in New Jersey and cut and sewn in Los Angeles, California. They both feature a flannel liner, although the George does feature poly sleeves, where the Flint and Tinder features full flannel lining throughout the sleeves. The Flint and Tinder hand warmer pocket bags are wax canvas, where the George are a poly liner. And as you can see here, the Flint and Tinder has kept its color and the George has unevenly faded, even though it has only been worn one time and has been hanging up on a coat rack in my house. And so you don't think it is the sun that faded it. This is the interior pocket that was not in the sun at all and it is completely faded. And also this was buried, it was underneath several other jackets, so this is not this is not sun fading, this just completely faded weird. And you can see it's different panels. This is the front of the right sleeve. This is the back of the right sleeve. This is the back left right panel. This is the main back panel. So it definitely faded completely uneven. Now, I was very skeptical when I first got this if this was even a waxed canvas, but I have since gotten the American made um, waxed mill jacket from Huckberry. Now that is also, that's a British Millerain wax canvas and that also has a dry feeling to it. So I no longer doubt that this isn't a wax material. It's just not a very good material period. So I'm guessing um, whatever they wax this with just completely sucked the wax in and it was only very lightly waxed. So I am now aware that there are dry wax canvases as opposed to a more wet wax canvas that we generally see with jackets. But the short and skinny of it is, no, the George will not last the apocalypse. I mean, hell, it didn't even last hanging up in my house, not even being worn. It's very thin, it's very light, it's very poor quality materials. And <laughs> I paid $10 for this jacket, plus I think $7 shipping. And if I remember correctly, I have until March to return this because I bought this at Christmas time. So it was qualified for extended return policy. So I'm gonna get my $17 back because honestly, I won't even wear this as a joke. The way it faded, it looks terrible. And I don't even wanna like gift this to someone. So out of the sheer principle of it, I'm going to get my $17 back from Walmart. So the George jacket, it's not even worth $10 and $7 shipping. It is complete garbage. I think this thing sold for $30 brand new when it first came out. I think it came out like last October or something like that. Someone noticed it online, brought it to my attention. And because I had looked at it then, when it was on sale, scrolling through my, uh, my Walmart feed, trying to find some uh, Christmas presents for the mini me, it popped up for $10 and I said, for 10 bucks, We'll give it a whack. We'll, we'll just take it. We'll humor ourselves with it. And honestly, not even worth $10. So if you are gawking at the price point of $298 for the Flint in Tinder flannel line wax trucker jacket, it is a phenomenal piece of gear. This is my oldest one. This is the longest uh, Flint and Tinder jacket that I've had. I've had this for about a year now and it still looks great. It is developing some nice patina. It's got some nice folds and creasing going on. It has not discolored in a bad way. It may discolor in a good way and gain that patina, but um, it's not gonna fade and look like trash. And it is American made, fully materials and manufacturing. So um, <laughs> do not fall for the imitations of any sort. 
just go ahead and get yourself the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker. I absolutely love this jacket and this one I paid for with my own money. And in fact, this is the second Flint and Tinder Flintaline Wax Trucker jacket that I paid for with my own money. Yes, I love this jacket so much. I bought two of them with my own cash. So if you're looking at it, grab one. I love this jacket. It's great. Don't get any imitation. I mean, there's a reason that Walmart, a huge corporation like Walmart, completely ripped off this jacket because this jacket is awesome and even at 300 bucks. And I'm not gonna lie, $300 is a pretty big chunk of coin to drop on a jacket. So if you're looking for a jacket to last you through the apocalypse, do yourself a favor and just get the Flint and Tinder. Don't fall for any of the imitations, even though Walmart completely ripped this jacket off one to one because it sells so incredibly well. Just, just do do yourself a favor and get the real deal. So that's it. If you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. <laughs>